Hi there, this is Rahul Inchal and today we are going to discuss uh, the report. Today I am going to discuss on the report on the uh, exploratory data analysis which I did on Play Store app review and also the user review uh, which is the same. Um, so alright, so uh, before going further and before wasting much of our time, let's like I'll just uh, uh, restart and clear the output so that while I'm explaining we can see the output as well. Alright, and uh, you can see my name is Rahul Inchal and uh, this is my report on um, uh, a Play Store app review. Uh, business context, you can read it. Problem statement is also you can read it. And first of all, importing all the important packages. And in in today we are doing one something new. That is, I'm importing uh, from date time. I'm importing date time uh, so that I can be able to you know uh, change the date type, uh, change the data type of a date column, uh, which which will come of course. Uh, so which will come and to the to the date time format all right to the date time data type so you can see last updated is a date column right so we have to change this right so which we are going to change in the coming uh cells now these are my data description first of all first formal for first four more thing we are going to get the info so you can see rating is float as we can see rating has to be float but reviews is an object and everything else is an object which we can see float we only have float one and object 12 which we are supposed to change it because uh, we can see rating is there reviews is also it has to be in float or in uh, size should also be in float or in and also we can see Again, exploration we will do in, in, in a bit. Installation also we'll do. We, we, we will do a lot of uh, data cleaning part here. Second, uh, we'll find the shape of it. So that is 10,841 uh, rows and 13 columns. And then the first and foremost thing, finding the duplicate values. So how many duplicate values are there? There are like 483 duplicate values and we'll try to plot the graph of it. So there are like 483 duplicate values and uh, false means these are not duplicated values, right? So again, we are going to drop those duplicate values because we don't want them. So we have dropped. So how much we have now? False, that is 10,358 uh, 10, rows are there, which are not duplicated. Now, next part comes out comes out to be finding null null values. So there are like which we can see from the command like ps dot is null dot sum. We have like uh, rating. It has like one thousand four hundred sixty four. Type one, content rating one, uh, current version eight, and Android version eight. Now. Uh, by the heat map, we are going to analyze how many um, null values are there. So there are a lot of null values in the rating column. So we'll do that and we'll find the unique value, unique value using Lambda function. So there are like a lot of unique, uh, unique values from for all the columns there. And then uh, for the first, uh, I will do uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll take care of rating later. First, let's take care or let's take care of a uh, type. So let's see what are what is the type of it. So yeah, uh, so free paid is there. So unique prepaid nan there is nan value so i'll find what is the nan value out of it now if you can see clearly uh, uh, since the nan value of the type uh, to uh, type belongs to price zero which means it should be free right so for example what happens is the price uh, price zero right it's it's not a paid version so it has to be free only right so that's why we are going to replace it with the free because it's a free app so I have replaced now there is no null values onto it. So type column has been type column has been taken care of. Not reading the null values in it, a rating column. So rating column, how many null values are there? There is one, four, six, five. The rating column, one, four, six, five, right? So one, four, six, five null values are there. Where, yeah. So let's find out the mean and the median of it. Now, see, guys, uh, as a data analyst or a data scientist, uh, we are not supposed to uh, just drop all the null values. We are, it's our duty, it's our responsibility, it's our moral responsibility to see and replace with the accurate data as possible. All right. When there is nothing remaining at that time, we can replace it with mean, median, or, uh, or we can just drop it. Fine. So there has to be a reason behind everything. So what is the reason? So let's see. Now, mean rating, mean rating, I have rounded it off to one, uh, one decimal and median. So mean and medium are almost same. But what happens is, um, so as we all know that mean is um, highly affected by the outlier. So it, it has an effect, outliers has the effect on mean, right? But outliers do not have any effect on median. So we are going to check how many me, uh, outliers are there. So we as rating is there, rating we know. So where is the rating column? I'll just try to show you rating column, right? Rating column. So as we guys know that in the Play Store app or wherever we have to rate it, we rate it in the scale of five, right? Anything beyond that is not a scale, right? We cannot rate six for an app. 
we cannot read 10 for an hour but in the box plot what we what i can see what we can see is there is one null values in here or, or other one outlier which is uh, which is what which is 19 i guess i'm not sure uh, let's see yeah so since there are a lot of outliers and we know the mean okay so uh, there is one one outlier which has to be removed fine which has to be removed uh, because um, 19 yeah see here it is rating uh, if i see the bottom five value okay so i have sorted what did i do how do i find out the value that is the largest that is i've sorted the rating and i've extracted the bottom five out of it so i've got five 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 and the last value is 19 since a rating cannot be 19 right so since there are a lot of outliers and we know that mean is affected by the outliers okay now we are not going to remove all these uh, outliers generally we do remove the outliers but we are not going to remove this because rating starts from one to five right so rating starts from one to five and we are not supposed to remove uh, any rating which is like 1.1 1.2 or c majority of the data lies between like three to five but that doesn't mean that we are supposed to uh, drop the columns uh drop the rows which have uh, these values below than uh, the uh, uh, uh the iqr okay so I have replaced the um, null values with the median. Fine. So median, I have replaced the null values with the median. Hence, the last bottom now, the 19 also has to be since 19 cannot be the rating. So the entire row is now. If I can see, uh, yeah, see. Now this is the one, this is the one which has a rating 19. This column, uh, this row is the one which has a rating of 19. So what we can do, what we can see here is there is one column a uh, value of column category is being uh, missing and the, and the entire value is being shifted one bit left. So we can see rating has to, uh, was supposed to be 1.9. Uh, review has to be 19 size has to be 3 million install has to be 1000 plus type has to be free price has to be zero. And so we can see that it has uh, shifted itself like a uh, left, but uh, we cannot replace it. We cannot, we don't want to replace it. Otherwise the entire row has, will go, um, will go change, will, will change everything on its own. So I have decided to drop it because since it's a, in, in one in a 10,000 uh, rows, it's, it's only one entry, which, which we have got. So it's okay. We can replace it or, uh, uh drop it. So did, what did I do? Uh, I dropped it. I dropped the row number, uh, 10472. And this is the shape before dropping it. And this is shape after dropping it. So we can see there are 58 before and 57 after. And then if I try to draw the uh, outliers graph or box plot, we can see it is, uh, it is there is no uh, value beyond five and below, be, be, below six. Now, since the observation is since according to the formula, there uh, there may be outliers, but the rating usually ranges between one to five. And we can see that there is, there are no values beyond the range. So not dropping the outliers. Okay. So this is the reason behind it of not dropping the outliers. Okay. Yeah. So now let's go further. Now, now checking the null values for current version and Android version. So Android ver current version, there are eight and Android version, there are two. So finding the unique values and then find uh, getting the PS. Uh, so since there are only eight null values in the current version and two in the Android version, hence either we can replace it or drop it. Let's try to replace it. Uh, I personally not, uh, drop the column and uh, rows until unless I don't have hard and hard rule or, uh, I can't do it. I can't replace it until unless that situation comes. I don't drop it. I try to replace it because it, those, uh, for, because of that one entry, the entire row should not be uh should not give uh, be uh, suffered right so so what did i do so as i can see there are like uh, varies with uh, way, uh let's see uh do we have yeah so as we can see we have some something called as varies with device right so it's better for us to replace those very less rows which have null values to vary uh to mention uh to replace it with varies with device so i did do that and then now we can see that there is no null value so uh, we have cleaned the data perfectly. Now that is done. Now let's change the date time format because uh, changing the date type format is beneficial. So what did I do? I changed the date time format to string. Uh, now if we check, so we can see date time 64 ns. Fine. So that is there. And also the column install contain unnecessary characters uh, like uh, comma and plus. So you can see there's a comma. 
this is for us to understand uh, the installs are like say what 1 lakh plus what 10000 plus 5 lakh plus or something like that but the machine does not understand plus they will start treating it as string but we have to perform operation onto this so we have to change the data type before changing the data type we have to remove all the unnecessary characters right so what i did do what did i do i replaced the everything with the uh, space or or nothing Okay, I've removed everything. So now we can see the nothing and I've changed the uh, as type of it from uh, object to int and float. Now we can see now we can see there are how much uh, there are uh, see um, where it is uh, current version installed right install install installs. I have changed the value to int fine. So this is this is what it is now define defining now next comes on to be is uh defining uh so we have size right we have size column size column uh in which uh, there are two two um, uh, units that is megabytes and the kilobytes so either we are supposed to get the megabytes into kil kilobytes or kilobytes into megabytes so it's better for us to do uh the conversion from kilobytes to megabytes because uh kilobytes the values of kilobytes is come uh, less and megabytes are more so do not giving not giving much pressure onto the system as well we are replacing and i have defined a function uh, defined a function kb to mb and then i have tried to do that fine so yeah i have i have i have um, see now this is the fine so this is this is what i have done i have changed all the ki uh, kilobyte to megabyte and also i have returned only the values not the uh, m the character m right so so that like again we want to clean the data so this is what i have done and we can see the um, uh, outliers for the uh, size okay we can see the outliers for the size and also there are like outliers which contain varies with uh, device i have excluded that and play pay, pay, uh, and um, allocated to a new variable called size new and i have dropped uh, and i have made the out uh, box plot for the size new fine so there are outliers but we cannot remove them as they are the size of an app which can be as high as 100 mb or there can be uh, i should replace it as high as uh, but in this in this data set i have came across i don't know whether i have came across 100 mb or not but yeah, I must have came across 100 MB. Uh, so the size of an app can as go as good as like 2.5 GB or 3 GB as well. In a gaming industry, we have seen, right? So that's why we are not dropping those. Are, those those are outlier according to machine, but those cannot be outlier according to us, right? So yeah, now we can check the info of it. So the price column. Now let's take the price column. Okay. Now the price column contain dollar sign, which is separated, uh, which is separate, which is a special character. Hence, have to drop it because machine won't understand the dollar sign as currency. Also, changing the type of price column from object to float. Okay. So these are the dollar type, right? So dollar has to be removed. So again, I have removed the dollars and uh, I have changed the uh, as type of it from object to float. Fine. So also changing the uh, data type of reviews to float. Fine. So now, uh, now you can see the entire data cleaning part has been also done. And also the data type has been changed from uh, various columns. Uh, data type has been changed according to the necessary details. Fine. Like for example, rating has to be float. Reviews have to be float. Uh, install has to be float. Um, yeah. Fine. So this is, this is what it is. So now, now uh, describing the Play Store column, uh, let's get the mathematical uh, answers for it. Rating I have count of one zero three five seven. Let's try to check. Let's try to uh, change the data type of um, uh, the size as well. Okay. So let's see if if it is it, if it gives me uh, the values or not because I just want to check what is the float. Okay, not float. I'll just try to make it in. Okay, so the size column contains uh, the varies with device. That's why we cannot change it uh, to int. Okay, so I hope that you guys understand about this. Fine. So yeah, that that is it. And now if we can, um, yeah. So this is this is what it is. So rating reviews install price. Fine. So these are the maximum values and these are the minimum values and the you know, standard deviation mean and everything. Fine. And let's go for the correlation. Uh, now these are the correlated values uh, and the columns. We can see reviews and installs have a good number amount of correlation. Uh, so reviews and price is a negative correlation because one is increasing and second one is decreasing. That's all. 
So yeah, that is what we have done with all the entire data cleaning part. Now we'll go for analysis part. Okay. Now exploratory data analysis. First we'll do for univariate analysis, which, which, uh, which category is most preferred. Okay. App, because the name of the app is different for every other app. So we cannot do anything about it. We can simply drop that also, but then again, we need it because we are going to find the maximum downloaded and all in the further, uh, coming questions. So these are entire things. And then I've tried to plot the graph for it. So which we can see is the category most preferred by the people is family, gaming tools, business, and then so on. Fine. So observation looks like people, uh, people like family category for downloading the apps. Second best is gaming. Okay. So what is the overall rating for an app? What is the overall rating for an app is, uh, what did I do? Yeah. So we can see that a rating has four to five maximum, maximum apps with maximum apps has the rating of four to five and then, uh, three to four and then two to three. Fine. There are like very less value, uh, less apps, which has a rating of one to two, almost uh, more than 80% of the app in the place or lies between the range of four to five in the ratings column. How many installations happened? Okay. Let's check. Now I've tried to find the value count of it. Okay. So value count of it. Uh, so say, suppose one stands hundred thousand, 10,000 lakh, 10 lakh. So there are like, uh, more than 10 lakh, uh, more than 10 lakh, um, installation happened for one, four, eight, eight, uh, apps. Okay. So similarly like that, and we can uh, plot the graph for at that as well. So we can see 10, 50, 100, 500, uh, this is 10,000, 50,000, 1 lakh, 5, uh, 5 lakh and 10, 10 lakh. So there are most number of the apps, which has more than 10 lakh, uh, uh installation, but, but less than 50 lakh and followed by more than one crore. Also, there are a lot of apps, which has more than one crore, uh, installation. So yeah, that is what, uh, we can get the insights from fine. So next question is find the top free apps, find the top free apps. Okay, fine. Let's see what is the free apps looks like. There are like, uh, so what did I do? I have, uh, I have, uh, separated. I have only taken out the col uh, type column, uh, free, free from the type column and stored it in free apps. And now I'm trying to count how many values are there in the free apps. Remember we had around like 10,800 column uh, rows or something. And in that 10,800, approximately 9,592 rows are there who are free, which are free apps, right? So in those free apps, I want to find uh, the maximum values, right? So these are the maximum values. Okay. By the function maximum. And then if I want to find the shape, so 49 comma 13. So th these are the maximum top three apps. These are the maximum, um, downloaded, right? So 49 comma 13. So if I want to find the category of it, communication is there, social is there, game is there and all fine. And then trying to visualize those. So communication, social game and all fine. So these are the observation. So find the top paid apps. Now paid apps guys, um, uh, we have done for the free. Let's check for the paid apps. Okay. So paid, there are only 765. Okay. And then I've tried to now, uh, in the, in the paid apps, I'm I have tried to arrange the price in the ascending order or rather descending order. Okay. So from top to bottom, right price. So now price, we know that it's 400, but we know that it's a dollar. Okay. $400. Around, I guess now it is uh, the dollar is to INR is going in 82 rupees, right? So 400 into 82, 400 to 32 around, you can say like 32,000. Okay. 32,000 rupees for one, one, uh, app called I am rich Trump edition. Fine. So this is a huge amount. Fine. And also we can see there are like more than 10,000 downloads have been happened. So downloads does download will not happen if you don't pay for it for the paid apps, right? So just imagine how much this app has earned. But again, this is this is not the this is not the app which has earned the most because uh it has a price high, but it's it it is having ten thousand only ten thousand downloads. But there will be an app there will be an app called Minecraft which we'll see in further uh, that has more downloads but has less amount which will give me the, the multiplication will give me very, very high amount, which we'll see in a bit. Okay. Don't worry about it. So value count I've seen. So 0 0.99, there are like 146 app, which cost uh, 0 0.99 dollar or 99 cents. Uh, similarly goes on. Okay. So if I try to plot the graph for it, so I have like these much amounts, which we can see there are like 99. I could have fi found out the top 10 as well, but then again, I decided to go by this. So you can see the entire, entire, uh, uh, distribution. Okay. So this is what I have, I have discussed right now. Okay. So you can, you can read it.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंटेंट रेटिंग लेट्स गो फॉर कंटेंट रेटिंग सो हाउ मेनी कंटेंट रेटिंग्स आर देयर एवरीवन टीम लिसन लेट्स ट्राई टू प्लॉट द ग्राफ सो देयर आर लाइक मोर देन हाउ मच या 8382 एप्स आर देयर हु आर फ्री फॉर अदर्स और अदर हु हु इज हु इज मेड फॉर द कंटेंट रेटिंग फॉर दीस एप्स इज फॉर एवरीवन एंड देन टीन इज देयर मैच्योर इज देयर एवरीवन 10 प्लस एडल्ट 18 प्लस एंड अनरेटेड सो ओके सो दीस आर द थिंग्स okay next is journals let's take the only top 15 tools has the most entertainment has the most education has the most okay so now this is the bar graph or rather this is the pie chart for it okay we can see tools has the most now comes for the bivariate analysis i hope that you know bivariate analysis bivariate analysis in a nutshell if i can describe about it is uh, we are uh, trying to plot the graph between two variables or two columns you can say okay so now find the top profitable app okay top top profitable app now how does it uh, works out is top profitable app comes uh, in terms of revenue which means we have to one we have to insert one more column called revenue in which it contains the value of price multiplication multiplied by installed right so that is what i have tried to do in here so which we can see revenue is there revenue is there which this is the revenue which is earned by this app which is a multiplication of price for one download into number of downloads or installs okay so this is 400 into 10000 comes out to be 4 lakh right so yeah it is 4 lakh fine so i have now now what did i do i have try to see i want to now this is not sorted right this is not sorted i have try to sort it down so if i want to sort it down we can see here see the price of a minecraft app is 6.99 but the download is like say what 10 crore once Ten hundred thousand, ten thousand lakh, ten lakh crore. So one crore, more than one crore. So more than one crore, you can see. That even if the price is less, the uh, the downloads is more, so they are going to earn a lot, huge amount of money, right? So that is what it is. Okay. So if we try to visualize the graph, Minecraft has the most. Okay. Now uh, um, this is uh, this this indicates ten raised to power seven. Okay. In the in the graph or in the graph, yeah. So Minecraft is the most profitable by followed by Ambridge. okay now next question is which are the categories in which top paid apps belongs to top paid apps belongs to what are the categories so finance we can see top paid category categories are finance and lifestyle okay so we'll move further now uh now guys this is the second data which we have that is exploring the uh, user review now this is the uh, reviews which we have done and data analysis data wrangling data manipulation everything we have done data cleaning data wrangling and all we have done on the play store app now this is the exploring now second data type that is um, Uh, the user review data okay in which the reviews is there sentiment analysis is there a positive negative sentiment feedback everything is there okay so yeah it is a huge data set or uh, that's why it is taking a bit time to load but nevertheless yeah so app it is there are apps and uh, translated review i um, again the, the review won't uh, affect us the review won't affect us because we don't care about the reviews uh, what they have given but even though we care about the review but, but machine will not be able to understand for that we'll we have to go into nlp and deep learning and all but today we are going to only focus on apps sentiment sentiment polarity and sentiment subjectivity so let's check the shape of it so 64295 um, rows are there and only five columns are there okay so info let's check the info of it all are uh, three are object two are float okay so um, which which is okay like three are object and two are float which is okay we don't have to worry about it okay so let's try to find the uh, mathematical answers for that these are the mathematical calculations and now checking for the duplicated value since we can see there are a lot of duplicated values that is um, like more than more than uh, uh, not duplicated value duplicated values are more okay again we cannot just drop it okay at the so first instant instance could cannot be just drop the duplicated value but then again we have to drop it because we can't do anything about that okay so yeah see this this is how uh, we are supposed to think okay so your shape is now uh, no i have i have stored that into you are okay so uh, shape is uh, shape is 30679 after dropping the column uh, now we can see that after dropping all the duplicated value we we, we are having null values which is uh, which is like 987 982 982 982 we can see um, see now 
we have to find like we cannot simply uh, we have to find the reason behind those null values as well we have to find the uh, pro um, logic behind this okay now what we can see these all values are like strongly you know related to each other because see 987 982 982 982 and also from from the heat map what we can see is if there is a translated uh, review is there and the entire values become zero which is what the logic is there are a lot of null values and we just can't drop it right so see uh, what what i have taken uh, taken out from the uh, data is see if there is no translated review if there is a nan value in translated review the entire sentiment so uh, sentiment polarity sentiment subjective uh, uh, becomes uh, negative or null value because these values has to be there uh, these values will be there only if translated review is present, right? If translated review, the source is, uh, if that is a null value, the entire null values is going to be same, right? So we have to check if there are translated review has null value, then we cannot change anything uh, onto the sentiment, uh, sentiment or sentiment polarity or sentiment subjective. It clearly doesn't make sense. For example, it is this this app. Now this one customer say called two for the 10 best app food has not given any review. So how am I, how are we supposed to judge if the sentiment is na uh, positive or negative or neutral, right? We cannot just replace uh, the with the mean value or the median value, right? Or the mode value because it's a, it's a, a categorical data. So we cannot replace with the mean median, uh, but we can replace it with the mode, right? So that is what, and again, it goes same for the so, uh, sentiment polarity and it goes same for the sentiment subjectivity as well, as well. So this is the logic behind it. So we are so going to check for the translated review. And then if there is, uh, if the translated review has some value, then only we are going to uh, change some value uh, onto these three columns based on the uh, translated review column. Okay. So that is what I am going to check now that is um so see these are the heat maps so everything is like straight line which means if this is a, a null value so everything else the entire column uh, uh, the other columns are going to be null values okay so i am checking uh so translated review is null which all value uh which those i'm just filtering out those call uh, those uh, rows which has translated review null value okay okay so this is see this is the this is the column which has all null value but you can see most of the columns most of the column following these uh, translated review null value is uh, null except this one okay except this one so what we can do we can say that the apps which do not have review that is null value tend to have nan values in the column sentiment sentiment polarity and sentiment subjective in the majority of the cases so that's why and let's now check let's not let's check uh, what happens is translated review is null okay translated review let's filter out the column in which translated review is null and sentiment is not null okay let's see that so see there are only five columns there are only five columns in which translated review which we have seen in the um, in in the in the sum uh, null sum value also translated review is 987 but these are 982 columns which are null uh, null values okay which means five columns five rows are uh, those rows which has translated review null but they have some value uh, sentiment sentiment priority and some sentiment subject so in the fewer exception now these are considered to be exception but these are very few so these are only five so what we can do is we can drop the entire value so okay drop the entire null value so this is all it takes guys just a single line of code but then again we have to drop that okay so we have dropped it now we'll check for the shape that is 29,692 cross 5 and then there is no null values now there are no null values now we can see the head okay now the everything is there now we can do the exploratory data analysis for it okay so now let's go for the exploratory data analysis and the first question is what are the sentiments uh sentiment type of the apps Positive, there are like 19,000, negative 6,000 and neutral 4,000 approx. So these are the bar graph for that. Positive is more, of course. Next question is, uh, next question is, uh, top apps with sentiments. Okay. Top, what are the top apps which have, which have sentiments? Okay. So I did try to group this, group this with app and sentiment, which has like top apps, which has like positive, uh, positive, um, uh, sentiment and then compare those data so i've tried to buy, uh, draw the graph so we can see that the 10 best food for you it has like highest positive but it has a neutral negative as well followed by uh 104 something like that i don't know what it is so this is this is the graph okay so this is what it is now next question is find the top 10 positive sentiment apps 
find the top 10 positive sentiments are so i have tried to filter all those columns all those rows which have sentiment positive okay so i have filtered the row and and uh, uh, stored it in the uh, positive sentiment variable and then in in that uh, top uh, in that positive sentiments i am only finding the largest 10 values and i have stored it uh, i have grouped by again stored it in the top positive sentiments so these are my top 10 positive sentiment apps okay uh, so I've tried to plot the graph for that. I'm getting these things. So cool color note, notepad notes, something like that. Okay. So these are the things. Fine. So next question or, or this is what, yeah. Okay, fine. So I've tried to uh, draw the uh, pie chart as well for that. And I have tried to find the uh, tree map for that as well. Now this is what I've tried something new uh, for this chart and I have I've imported Squarify, which you guys, if you have uh, drawn Power BI, uh, dash, created that dashboard on Power BI and Tableau, you must be knowing about tree maps, right? In that, so I've tried to draw the tree maps for this. So this uh, this is okay. So every time you change, uh, you run this, the colors is going to change, and this is looking good. So I'm going to stay. Okay. Anyhow, this uh, now the logic behind the tree maps is uh, so uh, the largest rectangle gives out the maximum value, and the smallest rectangle gives out the smallest value. But in here, you cannot see anything because uh, the entire values is almost same. The percentage is almost same, say 10, 10.7, 10.2, 9, and all. Okay. So that's why you cannot see. But then again, I've tried something new for this. Okay, so and then find uh, the top 10 negative smart sentiment apps. So what I did not do anything different, just that I filter out all the rows which are which have negative sentiment and then tried the same thing again. Okay, so and then plotted the pie chart as well and plotted the uh, so, um, tree map as well. So which we can see in here. Now these are my conclusion. Uh, percentage of free apps is like 92, around 92 percentage app of apps with no age restriction, which is like uh, uh, the type is everyone that is 82%. Most competitive category is family. There is where uh, the entire revenue is being generated. Uh, so category with highest number of installed is games. Uh, category with highest average app installation is uh, communication percentages of and you can read um, all these conclusions. Okay. Now, I hope that you guys have understood uh, the entire Thing. and this was my small report onto that uh, play store review data and i hope to meet you in the next report cheers and bye bye